All right, guys, now we're going to start working on our submissions from the turtle guard. So I'm going to start on my knees, the turtle guard, and my opponent will try to come with his hand on my collar like that. Why? Because he's always looking for the clock choke. That's a good attack for him. It's a common attack. So once he does that, I need to have a reaction here, and I'm going to get a submission from the same position. First thing I do is control his sleeve, and I pull his elbow down so I can duck under with my head. Now at the same time, as I'm ducking under, I'm going to get the submission here. Now I'm going to get something that I call the inverted wrist lock. So I'm going to bend his wrist like this here instead of the normal like that so like this now this is a technique that a lot of people use especially from the stand up position like that now a lot of black belts have been using this technique and they have success with the technique because if you do it right if you do it in the right timing it's extremely effective and sometimes you may even hurt your opponent because he's not able to tap in time so control the wrist, control the elbows now with both hands like this and lean forward, bringing your head down. Okay, so let's watch that now on the ground. So he controls my collar, I open his elbow like this and right now I'm going to bring my head down and move my body to the right side. So pull the elbow, duck with the head and now watch my body moving here. So you're right here, you're gonna pull that elbow down, duck under with the head and start moving sideways and lock his elbow with both hands. Getting the tap and the wrist lock. So right here as soon as he gets that grip I'm gonna pull the elbow, duck with the head, now move. Getting the wrist lock.